you all talk about it. We heard it before. And why is 5 gigahertz not added to, for example, the most popular Flipper Zero? Why is there no extension board for that? Why is it that there are so many hacking devices tutorial out there and none of them really covers 5 gigahertz? Now, in this video, I'm going to explain a probable solution to why that is or an explanation you can tell it. So let's get straight into that. On the image right here, you can see that we have two different radio signal wavelength. The first one is called 2.4 gigahertz and the second one is called 5 gigahertz. The 2.4 gigahertz signal have a longer wavelength, meaning that there are lesser waves to the length of the signal. Now compare that to the 5 gigahertz signal, well it got more shorter wavelength, so why and what is different, right? So well let's talk about the 5 gigahertz first, because I guess that is probably why you want to see this video. The 5 gigahertz signal is perfect for sending faster rate signals, basically meaning a possible faster connection when you are attached to some sort of streaming and the 5 gigahertz is also more suitable for something in the vicinity of range in 5 to 10 meters inside a house for example. When you go through a wall the 5 gigahertz is not really that good which is why you got 4 2.4 gigahertz still. So people say like oh 2.4 gigahertz is obsolete now that is not true. Okay, it is definitively wrong. 2.4 gigahertz is just a gigahertz, a way of signaling to the end user, this is your data. This is a wavelength. Doesn't really mean that it's not a technology or anything, it's just a wavelength. So when people talk about this is obsolete, well, they're just wrong. It is not obsolete, it is there to stay, and it is here to give us a better transmission rate. So. When you have Wi-Fi in buildings and so on, if you want the Wi-Fi to travel the best around the building, through a wall, through a concrete something, anything, just an, a wooden wall, 2.4 gigahertz is the gigahertz to choose, which is why it is used. The 5 gigahertz is mainly something you have inside a building where this is a room you need to share it in, but you don't need to go to, through any wall or windows. And the shorter wavelengths has a bigger chance of well, shattering when it hits something. That is just a fact, something that is the truth, and we're not really do anything about it. So, what does all this mean in terms of penetration testing and so on? Well, in terms of penetration testing, it basically means that 2.4 gigahertz is very feasible, and 5 gigahertz is, well, less feasible, not really that practical, because it's not really going through that well on walls and so on. And really, let's just skip the whole fact that 5 gigahertz is, is really good because it's really overrated. I would probably choose the 2.4 gigahertz signal over the 5 gigahertz signal because there's a great chance that you can hit some sort of wall or door or something like that. Even in my house, it's like an L-shaped hive house. And on the one side of the wall is the, is the Wi-Fi access point and the other side I'm actually sitting. So I need the 2.4 gigahertz. If you're inside a small room, you can perfectly choose the 5 gigahertz. It's actually safer for you if you want a better working, safer environment because, you know, it's not really going through those walls as well. So the great chance that hackers, penetration testers outside, not really going to grab the signal as well. So I hope I help you to understand the myth behind 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz signals. So hope you learned something. See you again online. Have a really nice day.